What's going on, ladies and gents? We're here. Got my guy, Steve Bayon, with me. Sky and Crypto University, as always, Strategy Sunday's call. Today, we're going to be talking about um, starting, going into 2024 with a plan. So um, we're going to gonna um, unveil some, some uh, highlights and some gems for you guys. So, you know, buckle in. Let's get started. Appreciate you. So listen, I've, I've been... This is this is probably um, the most important part of of being part of this community right here. What I'm about to put you on to. So it's one thing that we dive into crypto, but that's not who we are. And in 2024, you guys are going to start to see that this group is a lot more than you know cryptocurrency and blockchain technology talk, right? Because those are just all tech products that we really don't have much control over. Um, we don't have ownership in them outside of owning you know said asset. Uh, we we watch the news, we watch the implementations, we watch the um, the partnerships grow over the years. You know, Champ and I have been in this since 2009, so the way that we're seeing things is a lot different. Uh, so I like to say that we, we're in the business of selling time to people, right? So you don't have to spend the, the, almost a decade in this industry to understand, like, what it is. Um, so because we had that early foundational understanding, we were able to, you know, provide you guys with, with the best comprehensive training, you know, that we feel is on the market today, right? Because I know that there wasn't anything built for our people um, in our language that look like us, um, you, you know, just 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 the fact that we're relatable as, as real people, right? Um, so with that said, the 2024 planning and review um, and, and just a yearly thing that, that we should all do in the sense of just cleaning house, uh, gaining mental clarity and going into whatever the next phase is. Right. Um, so just personally guys, like I would say about a decade ago, I had a business in um, out of state in Rhode Island and long story short, I ended up getting sued. I was trying to sell the exit. It was, it was one of the worst, uh, ventures I entered into with a, with a particular partner, um, at the time, uh, I was running the company. This person was supposed to be a silent investor, in the process of selling the business to him pennies on the dollar, just so I can get out. Right. And his attorney and them had different things in mind at the time. So I, you know, I hired an attorney to, you know, help me with the paperwork and things like that through the relationships and guys, this, this stuff can get costly. Right. So as we were going through negotiation, you know, we started to realize that these guys weren't negotiating in good faith. They wanted the company, not even for nothing. They wanted me to pay for the company. And that's what I ended up doing in, in the long. So you'll you'll get to the, I'll get to that part. So I can remember sitting in a restaurant with my family. And, you know, at, at that time in my life, I would have to look at my bank account, you know, to move money around and to see what was available. You know, I've never put restrictions on myself to not get what I always wanted, even if the money wasn't in the bank account. I just always figured out a way. Right. So that was always that will to just just make anything happen. So when I'm sitting there, I go on to the bank account. There's no money in the business account. OK, like zero dollars. So now I'm trying to call this guy to see what happened. Whatever. It's nighttime, you know, trying to call the bank, it, whatever. Money's gone. The withdrawal was made to another bank account, which happened to be his account. So long story short, guys, I'm I'm on zero now, right? This this was my livelihood. I had all my eggs were in that basket. So we wrap up. I could remember I could remember just that feeling of hitting rock bottom, right? Of not being able to be a provider at that time. You know? So the first thing that came to mind was just one was rage. You know, and then once I got that under control and we, you know, we we entered the process of just, you know, being sued in federal court in New York and just being able to answer that in itself is is, is just wild, right? So I can remember the movie um, Straight Outta Compton. So there was a part where Dr. Dre had said, because I couldn't find the words back then, but he had said, this is when Suge Knight was you know, kind of taking everything from them. And it was more like, you know, there's, there's no dollar amount in the world, you know, that can, that can um replace just, just your sanity, 
at the end of the day. So if you know if you want it, you can have it, and not in those words, just just me formulating my own words. So you know, you watch a company that I built from the ground up, you know, just being taken at the time, and I'm just like, wow, this 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 is crazy. And it, it was something that I needed to go through in in, in business because you know, Champ and I we were cut from the same cloth, where it's just it's just handshakes and. You know, you can have all the paperwork in the world, but at the end of the day, guys, court is not about who's right or wrong. It's just about who has a deeper pocket, Absolutely. right? And most of these guys that operate from the stance of constantly hiring attorneys to do this type of work for them, um, hide behind the fact of never wanting to face people or face the music in life, right? So they 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 make a living of burying you in paperwork, you know? Um, and, you know, at the time when you got no money, you... How are you gonna fight a case at the end of the day? Um, long story short, we end up settling in, in litigation, not even litigation, uh, mediation, right? This particular attorney that this guy had at the time, a terrible guy. Um, he he was he was a big problem for us in this case. He even went after my, you know, my wife, my integrity. You know, she's an attorney. Like it, it he just did things that were just beyond. And he's done other stuff to others celebs you know i found out later um this this is kind of his mo um so with that said we were going to mediation in new york uh on, on a particular day and it was the first time i'm seeing this guy and trust me guys if i could do an off-camera talk about this on all the things that i did to, to try to get to this dude and and for whatever reason um it just failed attempts right and it, it definitely hit him because I have more things to do in life than, than, than to be, you know, somewhere sitting in somebody's box. So this is the first time that we're seeing each other now in, in mediation. And I knew that the lawyer was always a point of contention at the end of the day. So the, the day before the mediation, we get a call um, from the mediator to say that the, his attorney wasn't going to be there, but he was still coming. So Long story short, his attorney's son ends up getting shot and almost killed, right? Mm. And just showing you the way that the world works. I'm not saying that the, the, the guy deserved this, but I'm just telling you that things happen um, beyond our control and, and we just kind of roll with it. So we were able to mediate um, after a couple hours and come to an agreement. I had to pay 20 grand on an exit. All right. Now that puts me here. So the first thing I did was I needed to find clarity and 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 just I had to take accountability for what was happening because I could easily play victim and said he did this and never learned my lesson. So I took a trip out to Cali. Guys, I had no bread. I could show you negative bank accounts at the time. Like this is why I could sit with people. And no matter where I'm at in life, I'm always going to be able to relate and sit with people. Um that's that's just the character. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm never greater than and even if I'm feel like I'm sitting at the top of the hill, I'm still venturing down to try to pull up as many people as possible or just to come down and chill. Cause that's, that's really where, <laughs> that's where the fun lies right. um, amongst the people. So I take a trip. I, well, I met this first kid online who was selling some motivational stuff and never really went down that rabbit hole before that kid let me, led me to Tony Robbins Right. And then I, I'm down this rabbit hole with Tony Robbins and I'm like, this this sounds amazing. You know, I, I get to face all aspects of my life. Mastering influence is that that firewall that he has. And if anybody has ever been or if you haven't, I would suggest you go. It, it's it's really a thing. Right. So I scramble up the money. I shoot out to L.A. because I wanted the the. the I wanted the one that was now. I didn't want to wait till he came to the East Coast, which would have been probably another year. So I shoot to LA. Um, the the day I land, the the very next day, if, if anybody knows Tony Robbins, he goes early in the morning and this guy will go 17, 18 hours the whole day into two, three in the morning. And this is the schedule I'm on. Mind you, I'm three hour difference, dealing with that, just locked in, you know, tens of thousands of people around me, you know, just, just craziness. Right. I can remember there was one point that stood out the most where Tony kind of brings you through this ride and you have to ask yourself these questions. And the first thing he tells everybody is do not console the person next to you. Right. Just, just let everybody just be. 
And then he starts to go through this series of you questioning yourself, like, you know, what is a habit that you want to let go? Of? What is something that 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 can affect your life? And then you start looking at it. He's like, all right, well, how would that look in a year? How would that look in five years? How would that look in 10 years? These are things that we never really sit with ourselves to really ask ourselves those deep questions. So then I started to see like my wife. I started to see the family. I started to see divorce. I started to see a breakup of the family. And I'm like, that pain was just too much to bear, right? So fear could either do one of two things. It's either going to drive you away from something or it's going to pull you towards it. The choice is yours either way. You know what I'm saying? There, there's no in-between in that. So I knew the fear of losing the family was, it was way too much for anything else that I could endure in life. I could deal with losing money. I did that, right? I could deal with making a lot of money. I did that. Constantly starting over, running on this hamster wheel when it came to the business. But I'm like, I can't recreate her or this family. Impossible, right? So I have to hold it together. Coming from a single family home, it's 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 easy to it's easy to uh to give up, right? Um. So that was the part that stood out the most. And then when I left Tony's situation, I found a new lease on life, health, wealth you know, wellness. I mean, you name it. I was just, I, they, they introduced me to so much that day. And then I just saw the power of influence. This guy's on stage. I'm like, he's not drinking any water. He's not taking bathroom breaks. What the fuck is this guy on? You know what I'm saying? So I'm analyzing the whole thing over the course of the next three days. So I come back, I end up signing up for a product that I bought from him. I end up signing up for uh, an accountability coach to him. I don't have the money. You know, they're telling you like, yo, figure it out, right? Figure out what's important to you. And there's always a way, right? So I made the way. I had the accountability guy coaching me through certain things. They put me on to a whole lot. And I, I got a bag of stuff that over the years, you know, even meeting champ, um, being able to, to stay calm in, 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 in my demeanor. I, I don't, see it the way other people see it but you know champ has always um pointed it out to say like what got you there and this this was one of the main things is um really assessing your life and, and taking accountability for all things good bad and indifferent and i've that's always stuck with me and i've coded it into everything that i've done or, or and continue to do in life so I wanted to make sure that we entered 2024 correctly and we're going to constantly keep doing this and this is not this is a one-time call for me to give you the plan of action. Um, monthly, we'll get on. This is going to be our strategy Sunday situations for our VIP only. So today, this is for everybody. This could sit out there and live. But the follow-ups that we're going to do is, is only for our VIP members. And, um, and, and Champa dropped the links and everything in there for you. So we have these strategy Sunday calls. And it just gives you a, a little bit more um, than just crypto at this point. So... This plan and review, I'll go over it. It's a quote that I want to give you guys. Let's see if I can find it. I know I'll run across it in the plan somewhere. Okay, so what gets measured gets managed, right? I don't know if it's just me, but the time seems like it's being sped up. Right. In the last probably like since the pandemic, you know, it's literally New Year's. And then I tell my wife it's summer and then it's like Christmas and then we're back to the, yeah, I'm just seeing things like just rapid blink of an eye. We're, we're already through a year. So with that said, you can find yourself not managing your business, which is yourself personally, and then not managing your business and all the other things that we have, we have to do in life or that we tell ourselves, tell ourselves that we have to do. But I've watched so many brothers and sisters like lose themselves in chasing bread and not taking um, inventory on their personal life because that has everything to do with how successful you're going to be. And I'm not talking about just money, just life success now. So in about 10 minutes, I'll drop this document to you guys. I'm going to kind of keep you on here. And then We'll just go through the document and then I'll let you know what the next steps are. So this is all accountability for 2024. And because we're starting at the uh, top of the year, um, we're going to break this down into quarters. So when we do our planning, 
you don't go 12 months, just go, you know, go quarter by quarter. And then we're going to do quarterly um, uh, follow-ups and accountability. And then we're going to do monthly follow-ups and accountability just to make sure that we're all just positioned correctly this year. And then what's going to happen is at the end of this year, which will probably be in like two hours, right? The way shit's moving. Right. Um, we're going to review 24 and then we're going to get ready for 25, right? So now we're just taking off the training wheels and just keep them off for now, but we're going to take them off. And then every year after it, it, it's going to be easy. The reason why it's important guys is because between 2025 and 2030, you're going to have what, the biggest wealth transfer in the world. And if y'all connected with us and you did the, you did the right execution, we're all multimillionaires. I've said it already. It's, it's, it's there. Believe me. But if you don't have the correct mindset with this money, it, it there's other issues that you run across when you do cross this threshold of, of millionaire, multi-millionaire, things that we've never had to account for before. So you have to be mentally ready for that. It doesn't get easier at those levels. It's actually easier for me to manage broke than it is for you to manage a ton of money, properties, and, and all the things that I'm trying to organize now in my life, mm -hmm. right? So I don't care what these guys tell you about owning real estate, owning this, ha having this business. This ain't it. You know what I'm saying? Like, this ain't it. This is not for everybody. I'm, I'm, you know, sometimes I'm at my wits end with a lot of shit. And I'm just like, am I really put here to own all this fucking real estate and to work for people like all day? I'm, I'm like serving my, 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 my tenants and I'm, I'm constantly of service to the university. I'm, I'm always of service to, to somebody else outside of myself, of service to my family. You start to just lose yourself at times. And for my brothers on this call, you guys know, in black men and in, in, in specifically, and I'm not saying this doesn't happen to all men, but it, nobody really cares about how the fuck we feel at the end of the day, right? Mm -hmm. This is this is just a societal norm, right? It's never, how are you doing today? Like, no, really, how are you doing today? Like we got to put all this shit aside and just figure shit out for everybody. And we're the last to get anything. So um, this is this is my gift to uh to the university and and just the the universe or whoever's watching um, later. Planning and review. All right, guys. Um I'm gonna drop this in there. Champ, you could drop the VIP link for them in the uh in the chat so quote by Seneca there's no favorable win for the sailor who doesn't know where to go right um so this will be our first year together doing this uh the the document that you'll have is about 13 12 pages uh pdf it's just a setup document what you do with it after is on you right so the first part of the annual review and the planning process. And mind you, if you didn't do this last year, don't worry about it. Just skip the review part and just go into the planning part. You'll you'll review this. Uh, but you do want to look back on certain things from uh, from this year. Okay. Um, so the structure guide goes like this. Set up an environment. And Champ knows for the last week, I've been clearing out just my space, my office, my house, especially the office, right? Um, foundational review and planning principles, the review phase, the planning phase, and then uh, further resources, okay? So the setup and environment, okay? Guys, this is time consuming. It, it, it requires mental focus and a calm headspace, all right? So I'm, I gave you a, a few, and actually, you know what? Let me just share the screen with you guys. And again, you're gonna get a copy of this, so. Bear with me. Champ, we good with sharing? Yep. All right, cool. All right, so we got it here? Yep. Set up an environment, foundational review and planning, the review phase, uh, the planning phase, and then further resources, right? So set up an environment, guys. This is getting your space organized, right? Digitally organized, inbox zero, clean out these apps, unsubscribe to emails, unsubscribe to uh, um, TV products that we may not need. And and I went through a whole bunch of situations. Yo, listen, we got three TVs in here. I barely watch them. 
But then as I'm going through like what accounts we have and, you know, yeah, Disney plus this plus that plus HBO, this star cinema. And I'm like, oh, do we need this stuff? You know, and then you start to realize shit, just shave like 70 bucks a month on things that, you know, I thought the kids were utilizing. They weren't. I thought I, I canceled. I didn't. You know, these things, they're not they don't make it easy for you to just cancel, you know. Um, so getting digitally organized, clearing out space, get physically organized, right? So but my office back here, I mean, just the paperwork that just, it, it, it affects me, you know, it affects the, my process. It affects, and I'm, I'm just so used to doing it like this. Um, so I've just grown accustomed to this, uh, what I would call like an injury at the end of the day. Um, so last few days I've been just all in here. Um, just, just, just making good, uh, good progress. Um, so I, you know, there's a whole list of different points guys down here, chat GPT, don't use it, right. Don't use it for any aspect of, of, of this writing that you need to do it. It has to come from you. Okay. Um, remove the distractions. So you have to treat this process as work. And 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 you have to tell yourself this is fun work, but it's still work. All right. So don't don't come into it like this is daunting and then you're not gonna fare well with this one. All right. There's a lot of writing that goes into this. Okay. So foundational principles. All right. This is this is the next thing. The act of reviewing and planning is just as beneficial as the review and the plan itself. Okay, so understand the act of reviewing and planning is just as beneficial as the review and the plan itself. Mm. Okay. So there is no looking back if you didn't set something in motion, right? The reason why these we can watch our counterparts and you can see how successful they are, let's just say in the money game, is because these guys have, they operate on like not 10 year plans, they operate on 100 year plans. This is well after they're gone. You know, so if you can, if you can see that far out and then you start to re reverse engineer things, Something big is going to happen, right? And I'm not saying just look that far out and set a goal. You, you got to implement. You have to adjust, okay? So just because we're doing the planning a, a, a year out doesn't mean that we're not going to review it and make adjustments, okay? So self-honesty is the first step in transformation, all right? S stop lying to yourself. Stop lying to yourself. You can fool other people, but look yourself in the mirror and just be honest. It's the only way that things are going to change. The same way I took accountability for losing my company, even if somebody took it from me, right? It took a lot in me not to not to place you know play victim at the end of the day. But there was things along the way that if I would have had the right tools and the right recipes, that cake mix when it came out like that. Okay. Um. There's going to be times where you're doing this and you might say to yourself, I don't want to do it. And I'm guaranteeing you, we have 40 some people on this call right now, or oh, what are we up to? 44. Yeah, 44. Great number. Um, most of you won't complete this. Okay. The same way you, the same errors and things that you cool. did in 23, you're going to carry this in, over into 24. Let's not fool ourselves. Right. This isn't about New Year's resolution. Either, <clears throat> right. This, I'm not looking to hype you up and then, the air comes out of you, you know, two days after the New Year's. This is really about setting a new course. Um, I would urge every single one of you, if you have a significant other and 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 a spouse or whatever the case is, bring them in on this and do it where it is family planning at that point now. You understand? But you start first and then you lead the rest. And then you can share with your community also once you're completed and then you start to see results. You're going to want to share it with people. Um, meta clarity is everything. All right. So life's too dynamic and it moves too fast. Okay. I can remember 21, 2020, 21 was pandemic, right? Yeah. So 2020, I can remember, and that was the year for everybody, right? Mm -hmm. Now I don't even hear the bullshit no more. You know, there was a time leading up to before the pandemic where it's like, yo, New Year's is going to be the year. It's going to be the year. Now, I don't even hear anybody say shit because we are not in control of what could happen out here from the pandemic. Right. 
So I thought I was going to buy up all this real estate. I thought I was going to start container homes, affordable housing. Boom, pandemic hits. I had to shift that, right? Containers went from 2,500 to 25,000. You know, just supply chain, everything was just broken. So everyone had to make adjustments. And then I saw an interview with uh, Nike Marketing where they talked about there was a time where they can do their marketing budget a year out, right? This is back in the day when it was TV and radio. Now they got to go monthly, right? Test social media, test that, test this. This is what companies are doing right now. They're, they're breaking things down monthly, not even quarterly, you know, and seeing what works, seeing what doesn't work, adjusting. So we have to establish um, the same type of tactics, right? Because you can't think that you're going to say something today and then a year from now, it's like, you know, without any measurement in between, things are moving too fast. New technology is here. You know, AI wasn't here two, three years ago for us, but Champ knows how it's changed the way that we do business. Absolutely. Right? Um, and this technology, guys, it's not here to replace people. It is here to enhance the way that we do business. So if somebody's getting replaced, I'm just telling you that you're in the wrong business and you're of no value for what you're currently doing. But personal relationships with um, business owners or whatever the service is, will always trump technology at the end of the day. Just, I just come from that school of thought, right? Um, so read that section on uh, Meta Clarity. I'm not going to go too deep into this so we can get off the call in a timely manner. Um, reviewing and planning doesn't always feel transformative. Uh, so you're not looking for this eureka once you finish it. Now nah, you're just starting. You see what I'm saying? This is why I'm going to hold everybody's hand to the fire, even my own. To, to, to keep this monthly accountability, quarterly, big situations. Uh, 2024, we're looking to do a live um, seminar. We haven't named it yet, but we're probably going to end up, and I didn't even tell Champ, but Puerto Rico, I've been looking into that uh, for the university. So we'll meet up uh, sometime in spring for those who could come, right? We're going to make it affordable and, 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 and just, it, it's going to be the shit. Uh, so hopefully it'll be right after first quarter. And then it, that could be, you know, first quarter review would be part of the trip to Puerto Rico on top of some other things I got planned also. Um, so don't expect a eureka moment once you finish this. Okay. Uh, all right. So here is, and this is an example. So 2020 investing in real estate pandemic hit. I had to update my plan. You know, you could update your plan up until quarter, you know, Q4 of whatever year. So don't be so rigid in, in what you write down. Remember, it's just a plan, okay? Sometimes you have to divert and and and, and just keep executing, all right? Um, so the first phase is the review phase. Free flow journal, guys, get some paper, get a journal. Just make sure it's empty. Assign it to this. So every year you'll just have its own your own journal for that particular year and just let them shit stack up. Or if you want to just, you know, bookmark and start another year in the same journal, depending on how big it is, you can do that also. Um, there's no prompts. There's no right or wrong way to do it. But we have two rules. Don't self-censor or self-edit. Do not erase. Do not overthink. Keep fucking writing. Just keep writing. Okay? And there's more in here. So just, you'll get through it. All right? Um, write like you talk. Champ knows I'm good for this. <laughs> There's no chat GPT here, man. Boy, spell checking me all day. My wife is my personal um, spell checker. Two seconds. Champ, pause this. Yeah, so just, just write like you talk, guys. Don't worry about spelling errors. Don't worry about, you know, cross something out, rewrite it again. Just just keep it raw. All right? Um. Embrace the redirection. Come back to it. You know, if you're not feeling it in the moment, just just endure, take a break, come back. All right. Um, and remember, we have, don't look at it as 12 months. Just look at it month to month uh, when you get down into the, the drill down. Um, and we're already here in January. So it's kind of, we, we got to kind of get pressing for January um, and then set up that quarterly situation. So we buy ourselves some time and then go into the rest of the quarters. Uh, step two is going to be goal review. Okay. So if you didn't have one for last year, skip it. 
you're going to save a whole lot of time. But if you did have one, uh, for each goal you set in 2024, answer the following questions. Did you achieve the goal? Yes or no. Um, if you didn't achieve the goal, how close did you get? And why didn't you achieve the goal? What got in the way and what stopped you from finishing it or even starting it? Guys, be the fuck honest with yourself. Nobody's looking over your shoulder. I'm not asking you to share anything that you don't want to share, but just be honest. You start being honest. There's a lot that's behind truth. Um, write a brief analysis of your goal um, achievement, non-achievements for 2023. Um, about one to three paragraphs. So everything is set up in here. Step three is bucket areas of review. So this is just things that I've created. You could have your own areas. Okay. So we have work, career, and business. Okay. Um, what was 20% of the work that produced 80% of the results? Guys, it's just the 80-20 rule. Okay. So all this thinking you're hitting a keyboard, hitting a keyboard. That ain't really it. You know, you sit back. My one hour could be as effective as your eight hours. Because mm -hmm. once you drill down and focus, it's not a matter of time at that point. You're just knocking things out. Um, level of importance. Okay. So you don't have to put 100%. It's bullshit. No one does that. Um, so th the small yield can net mm -hmm. you something large. Um, which projects did I finish? Uh, what went well in this area? What didn't go so well? Which lessons did I learn? So this is this is looking back, okay? And then you score yourself uh, on a one to 10 and why, all right? And then you write a brief summary paragraph at the end to just kind of culminate everything. So I have work, career, business, and then the next thing is health and fitness. And then the same questions, what went well? What didn't go so well? Which lessons did I learn? What would you score yourself out of 10, okay? And why? And then a brief summary. So with that said, I'm just going over the, the sections now. Family, fun and challenge, spiritual and faith, um, travel, finance and investments. Feel free to add whatever you want, but keep these same questions here, right? And follow the same flow. You don't have to do each one of these, Okay. Step four, character trait review. The wild part, I remember there was there was this one study or more so a question, right? Can you just imagine someone's reading your eulogy at your funeral? Right, this came up at the Tony Robbins situation. Like what, what would people be saying about you? Like give us some thought, write your eulogy, you know? How does the world perceive you? How do you feel the world perceives you? It's important. We got to sit with ourselves now. Um, so scale of one to 10 and provide a brief explanation of the rating. All right. So work ethic and focus, rating, reason, integrity. It, <laughs> guys, we harp on this a lot. Accountability. Um, y'all already know if y'all been following confidence. Um, action, orientation, uh, generosity and giving, good friendship, good friendship, good friend, partnership, sibling, self-discipline, and then add accountability to that too. Okay. Um, so you're going to rate yourself and then you're going to put the reason. Okay. This, this is, this is important. All right. This is the character trait review. You reviewing yourself, be honest. Step five, general review questions. Okay. What activities drain you and why? This is where you have to drill down into like, and champ, I could be open with 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 the people, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, champ and I, we we have to establish a a working relationship and a partnership, right? And along with a friendship and a brotherhood. Okay, so with all that said, he doesn't take anything I say personally to him when we are dealing in business. Mm -hmm. Okay, but personally, I don't attack people's character. We, we could talk through things. That, that's our relationship personally. So as men, we know how to put on these different hats. When you're confused about which hat to put on, this is where the communication breaks down and the language is a barrier. Okay. So I can't remember one of our um, uh, counselors had said, it's not effective communication if it's not landing on the other person. You're right. You know what I'm saying? Like if it, it doesn't matter if he's not hearing me, I'm not, I'm not giving the message properly for it to land. It may not be the right time, but that's not effective communication, no matter how clear you think you are. 
Okay. So which activities drain you and why, which activities energize you and maybe made you feel the most alive and why, uh, which people drain you and why, which people energize you. You see where I'm going with this? Which lesson did you learn? If some third party observer had to write an overview last year, what would they write? Specifically, what would they write about you and how you acted and the decisions you made or didn't make? Mm. So now you're stepping outside yourself now. Self, yeah. Okay. What are the biggest personal uh, bottlenecks you're currently facing? Um, my lack of planning in my business has me very reactive when things come to me. Bro, it's the internet. Everything is, is something that we need to touch. Champ, you know this already. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. And we're in crypto. So it's like, you know, this is this is getting us prepared for the future of finance. So we have to address things that are happening in real time. We don't have to, but, you know, to, to make it um, a good university, we we bring you the, the information and we give you the breakdown. Right. Uh, my lack of focus and ability is is holding me back. I need to focus on building um, daily deep work habits. OK, Uh the planning phase. And guys, understand, I, I used to, my morning ritual has changed so much, right? When the summer's here, I'm outside, my foot's, you know, in the grass. When the winter's here, I'm, nah, I'm kind of not in the sun like I used to be. Um, you know, the, the meditation, the deep breathing. I used to get on myself and I started to realize that these are just practices. So I'm just picking up a bunch of different practices. You don't have to do the same thing every single day, mm -hmm. you know? But if it makes you feel good, then you can. But I've, I've been picking up so many different practices and there's times I get on myself like, damn, I didn't do breath work. I haven't done breath work in, in a while, but I am, you know, I have focus calm. I'm doing, um, you know, just meditation. There's other equipments I have in the house. So it's kind of replacing what I would say is formal breath work. Right. So don't get down on yourself. As long as there's forward progress, you're fine. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't see a change in my behavior, you know, um, going left. Everything's progressing. Um, so the planning phase now, there's two steps. Free flow journal plan and then goal setting. So you know, the free flowing is just what's on your mind. You just write. If you can do that daily, it's great. The other thing you got to think of too, is if you have kids, guys, this is like a good book to leave them at the end of the day, right? So what's the point in reading some other books that aren't written by us that give us inspiration where your child could read your book, 2024, 2025, like to know what's going on in mom or dad's head or whoever you leave it to. It's important. We all have a story. Um, and I start to realize that this, the family history starts to get lost. So today, uh, every 31st, we have this thing called the Bayonne jar, um, where we have a little piece of paper in a jar and every everything that we, you know, every highlight, anything you could put inside that jar. And then today on the last day of the year, as a family, we all sit and we pull out the jar. Funny story, my son one year, he had zero. Princeton had zero things inside the jar. It wasn't until we were going halfway through, we were like, hold on, this kid didn't put any. So that was a running joke. And then what I do is I keep all of them and I bag them and I got them put away. So I, I'd say probably for the last five or six years, we have some. So just imagine our 10 year anniversary when, when they're adults or 20 year, when we have grandchildren or whatever the case is, we start to bring these things out. So these are all things I'm going to start introducing to you in this year. And then my wife, she's going to start coming on board because she's, she's the most incredible person um, and, and the smartest person I know. And, and she's got some, she's got some shit in her bag. Uh, so you guys are going to have access to, to so much um, in the new year. Of course, crypto, you know, that's, that's the given. So goal setting, less, be clearer, better. Simplicity wins, guys. Do not overthink this, okay? Everything's in here. Questions to ponder. What could you work on that your future self would respect you the most for? Think about that question. What could you work on that your future self could would respect you the most for? What is the obvious but scary goal you should set. Okay. Um, are you setting goals based on what you think you desire or what you authentically desire? Now we have to start understanding self. So if you're not honest with yourself, you're going to be chasing things. Just log off. This ain't it. This ain't for you. Okay. Stay on. Let me, I'm, I'm leading in love. Just don't be dumb. All right. Uh, which goal would you produce the most personal growth if achieved? All right. Um, goal setting by bucket list area. 
All right. So you're going to write down as um, as many goals as possible for each bucket. Right. This is the brainstorming exercise. Just jot it down, whatever comes to mind. Good, bad, or indifferent, stupid. It doesn't matter. All right. But just don't be dumb. Don't skip this. Same situations, work, career, business, health, fitness, family, fun, challenge, spirituality, faith, travel, finance, investments. We're breaking out the same thing. If yours doesn't look like this, just switch it and do the same exact thing. All right. So now we narrow down each um bucket down to one to three goals. It's better to have one challenging goal and three than, than three mediocre goals. All right. So push yourself on this. Okay. And then when we get to our one month situation on our next call, we could all share with each other and then just start pulling, you know, inspiration from each other. All right. I don't want y'all just sitting back listening to me all day. Uh, step three, first quarter focus. That's what I said before, right? Uh, planning out the entire year in detail could be difficult because no one knows exactly what's going to happen. Life is dynamic and plans are always, are only so useful, okay? Um, I like to operate quarterly. You have enough time to fully commit to something without being hung up on opportunity costs or overthinking. When you plan for a full 12 months, it's easy to get stuck because you're you, because you start thinking, well, if I commit to this for 12 months and it's a mistake, then that's a huge waste of time, right? But if you commit to something for three months and it doesn't work, not much of a big deal, right? Because you still have more time after. You can even break that down monthly. Um, goals and projects. Goals are directional. Projects are actionable and feed into goals, okay? Goals are directional. Projects are actionable and feed into goals, all right? So... You want to take the goal you set for each one, each of the buckets, pick one of them and create a project that's either results in achievement of the goal or gets you closer to the achievement because some goals require multiple projects. All right. So when I when I rocked with Tony um, and this is when we get into the goal situation, I got something for you guys on the drill down, I'm not giving it to you today, but um, there is let me stop sharing there is a thing that Tony taught me and it's um, RPM blocks, right? So RPM is rapid planning method, okay? So it's it's a way that you can set goals with actionable plans and, and, and make it easy, right? For you to execute on these things, okay? So there's so much demand for your attention, and if you don't decide in advance, you're going to lose focus on most things. And this is what happens. Everybody's tugging at us. When do we have time for ourselves? All right. So another um, RPM situation could be result oriented, purpose driven, and massive action plan. All right. So it looks it looks really easy, guys, and we'll get into it. But it's like a, there's a chunking process, and then once you start to do that, there is uh, you start to create these blocks. Okay. So if Let's say if I want to lose weight, right? Let's say that that's the goal. And then we have to, now we have to get into the power of language too, because anything that you lose, you want to do what? Gain it back. Okay. So you have to start um, creating a new language. So remember this language was created for us by people who wanted to control us. Okay. So not everything is in our best interest, you know, good morning, morning. So I, I, I go with the grand rising. Um, it all matters. So everybody that wants to lose weight, I can guarantee most of them gain the weight back. Okay. So we, now we have to establish the proper words behind it. So when you have your, when you have that particular goal, you have a massive action plan, um, eating well, gym three times a week, this, that, 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 right. So now that's, that's your massive action plan. And then from each thing there, you get a result, right. And then from each, and then after that, this is the most important part, guys, you have to put a purpose behind it. So go to the depths of earth. If it's death, heart attack, not being here in your 50s, like take it there with it. Because now when you're looking at that goal, because just the losing weight without a plan and then without a purpose, just talking, shit ain't gonna happen. Okay? So we'll get into the RPM on the next call after we finish the, you know, kind of the setup uh, initially. Um, all right, back to... All right. So goals to projects. Um, we just went over that. Listen, guys, don't be too rigid. Just pull away if you're in doubt. Just clear your head. Come back. All right. Uh, here's an example here. Let's say 
one of your business goals was to double your revenue next year. Um, and the way you might achieve it is to launch four new products. So instead of looking at the four products over the course of the 12 months, you break it down one product quarterly, and then you project that particular product and you follow it all the way through. And then you make your adjustments and then you launch your next product. And, and that's a better way of looking at things. All right. Whereas most people just say, hey, I just want to double my income. Like we've been saying we've been wanting to double our income since the last umpteen years. And it rarely ever happens for most people. Um, so there's some examples in here. So from, from creating projects to creating projects to systems now. Okay. So you go from free flowing journal to goal setting to projects to now systems. I'm a systems guy. All right. So this is where you identify what systems are good for you to be able to complete the projects or whether you're using chat GPT, whatever the, the case is, there's okay. just systems um, that you have to build. Okay. Um, so for example, a system would be two hours of deep work every weekday morning on a product development and marketing straight up. If, if you follow that all the way through your, your, your probably get, to the goal that you want, all right? Um, and then, you know, you're writing down if you got to it, because if you start to skip today, tomorrow, the day after, it takes 28 days to, to, to either make or break a, a habit at the end of the day, guys. So you you decide, you know, what you want to do. You can make all the excuses in the world about how much you don't have time. Evaluate your time, go to Instagram, go to all these devices that you're on and see the amount of time that you spend on these devices at the end of the day, the time's in there. You know, clock the times that you spend watching Netflix and and, and and deep diving into TV, the time's there, okay? Um, general life system, which is also known as a habit. Um, there are systems, you know, you want to develop that exist outside of specific goals and projects. Make sure you define them, all right? And then this is going back to the Peter Drucker situation. What gets uh, measured gets managed, all right? And then I have a bunch of, um, and we'll, we'll get a little bit more into these on other calls. But these are, you know, time tracking, uh, daily worry counts, uh, fitness. These are different apps and stuff that you can use, uh, sleep. And then there's just random stuff that you could write down with notes. So let me stop this. And let me share this with you guys. So I'm dropping this in the chat, guys. Please download it. When this is linked down we're going to post this on YouTube. So you're going to see, we're going to give you the link to the download also. So for some reason you didn't get it today, you could always go back to the live video and, um, and, and it'll be in the link in the uh, description on YouTube. So. And guys, it's laid out pretty easy. So this is why I kind of floated through it. Um, let me know if you got that. Yes, sir. The habit is the habit, not necessarily the task. I like that. I'm just reading some of your comments. All right, champ. They asked for the boot camp link also. Um, in a comment yeah I, I have responded to him um i'll drop the actual link too just so it's there but he just wanted to access got it okay um something else i wanted to give you guys too if you are not in our system you can um you can just sign up uh for free and then that way you'll start getting email correspondence and text messages from us uh, if you haven't bought any products from us uh, the plan one and two or any of the boot camps that that require a login through the course, that means you're not in our system. So if you'd like to get in our system, I'm going to drop a uh, website to you now. And then you'll be able to just sign up. And at any point, you can unsubscribe to text messaging and, um, and email. So there's no uh, there's no stress. Definitely appreciate you guys tapping in today. I know today's a a day of clarity for a lot of people. So um, definitely appreciate that. So that 
is how you can sign up to get inside our system, guys, to make sure that you stay abreast of a lot of situations. Um, yeah. Uh, 2024 is all implementation uh, on the crypto side. So the next product that we're dropping is um, there's an industry called DPIN, Decentralized uh, Product Infrastructure Network. So if anybody's been following us, the Helium Mobile is, is considered a DPIN project. Um, this is where we can become part of ecosystem. So I have one antenna at my house now, actually, that has made me, it cost me 1500 and less than an hour to install months ago when I told you guys about it. So I was accumulating mobile tokens. I made $30,000 on that. I mean, cashed out on it. So I didn't make it, but profit and loss, um, unrealized profit and loss, right? Cause, um, you know, this administration here is trying to go after unrealized profits. They're, they're trying to tell you that you should be taxed on things you didn't cash in on, knowing that this shit can go left field in two seconds after you pay taxes on it. Just dumb. Um, so just showing you that there's there's implementation in crypto that's happening right now in that deep in, uh situation. So I'm, we're going to show you guys all these new industries, uh, the products that they have and the opportunities that you can draw from it. So I'm just telling you that Every single student that has implemented on the Helium Mobile um, information that we gave them, has, everyone has made money. Every single body has made money. On top of that, I'm, I'm also operating my family cell phone plan on Helium Mobile now. I was with T-Mobile prior, so it, 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 I don't see any difference. Um, so our bill went from like two something to 80 bucks. Um, the great part about it is my kids all have, because they didn't have a family plan, so you have to get them individually. So I u I utilize the kids' email. So now the kids are on the Helium mobile app and they're actually gaining tokens per day just by um, you know, adding to the coverage mapping. So this is part of my family situation is to bring my kids more into the investment world. Um, you know, so they could be poised uh in the future. So they're constantly looking at the the you know, the rewards daily. Um so there's a bunch of stuff that we're going to be implementing in the university, uh, children's crypto book, um, some of the stuff that we do with our kids with like green light cards. So the kids are investing in, in, in different stock companies and things like that. And every Sunday now moving forward into the new year, one of the new plans is that our kids are going to start trading and, and, and looking at their finances for the week, what they spent, what they made. Um, so this is going to be something that that's going to um, one, just, just sharpen me up you know because when you can teach you know it, it it does um it does sharpen your skills so they're not only my kids but they're my students and and i'm I'm their student also they're, they're constantly teaching me so full disclosure um I'm, I'm opening up my entire life to you guys not holding anything back stuff works i'm sharing the stuff that doesn't work i'm sharing um yeah Anything to add, Champ? No, nah, man. Just um, thank you first and first and foremost for um, you know for sharing this, the the intimate parts, the, the parts that people don't truly understand, um, the growth aspects, you know, the the things that led up to you know why we do what we do and the, the products that we kind of offer to the people. Um, you are a huge catalyst for that, so thank you on, on behalf of myself and everybody else. Um, to that Helium play is absolutely awesome. I too uh, shifted and transferred my service from AT&T over to Helium. Um, I have no issues right now. Um, whenever I do lose signal, um, it automatically ports to a T-Mobile tower. So everything is still the same. My bill went from 120 bucks, 130 bucks to $20 a month. So, you know what I mean? This is, it's kind of like a no brainer and you know, we're bringing this information to you and, and it's not just info. We have real world usage, like we're actually doing this. So, you know, that's that's the key to everything that we do here for you guys. Um, this plan that Steve just laid out, this is incredible because it is going to make you sit with yourself. It's going to make you ask a lot of questions to yourself that you might be pondering in your head, but you never actually intentionally approach Um with with the uh, idea of bettering yourself or improving yourself. So this is incredible. Like some of the things that he's listed on this list, I've, I've sat with myself throughout this year, just growing and, and just uh, becoming more expansive. Um, 
stop shrinking myself. You know what I mean? To be the, the, the big person that I always have been. I just kind of shrunk myself to get quiet and kind of hide myself as I grew. But I'm realizing like I'm doing myself and everybody else that I impact, I'm doing them a disservice. So, you know, just these type of things are super, super important. And then after you sit with them and you accomplish them, you understand how it all ties into every other aspect of your life from relationships to your relationship with money, people, everything. It, it all matters. So please don't glaze over this. If you have the opportunity and the willpower to do so and the ability to do so, do it. Hey, listen, guys, if, if you don't, I'm telling you, the, 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 this, the future and the world that we knew, and they said it during the pandemic, that it will, it, it will never be the same again. And I didn't really fully realize what they meant by it. Now I'm truly seeing it. You have to tap into yourself before the start of this year. Do not get on this hamster wheel. Do not think it's all about the amount of money that you make, because at some point you're going to have to unpack this shit. And you don't want to be unpacking this shit when you got a whole lot of wealth and you can't manage your state. This, this, this money and this wealth will change you. Good, bad, or indifferent. I'm just telling you, you know, people are who they are before they got it. And they are who they are after they got it. It's only going to bring out more of the insecurities. It's only going to bring out more of the F stuff. I got to clean it up too for YouTube because we, you know, we're trying to monetize and um, <laughs> we got to be on our best behavior sometimes. <laughs> Hey, let me ask you a question, uh, Stephen Champ. What you got? Go ahead, go so ahead. I just I just ended up getting uh one of my helium mobiles. Uh, but hold on, on let's I'm, hold on, Champ, take us out, and then we'll end up clipping it for this, and then we'll we'll keep the recording on, and we'll um okay, we'll stay on. Too easy. Um, guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, December 31st, 2023. It'll never be here again. Welcome to the new year, 2024. It is the year of use case, implementation, and execution. This is our Strategy Sunday call. We appreciate you guys for joining. We'll catch you guys on the next one.